If you want to learn how to create a branded virtual background like this, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Tony, and this is my channel Ready Steady XL. If you want to learn how to get the most out of Microsoft and other useful applications, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell, we'll put you on the right track. To create our branded background, we're going to be using Canva. Canva is free and is available via the web or the mobile app. And as you can see from this screen here, there is lots of templates to choose from, which are all fully customizable. Sign up for the free plan and get access to over 8,000 templates and hundreds of images with no strings attached. I personally use the pro version as it gives me access to even more photos. And one of the things I love about the pro version is that it allows me to remove a background of an image in just one click and saves me so much time. If you want to try the pro version yourself, then check out the link in the description of this video where there is a free trial. That's enough with the sales pitch. It's now time to log in. Okay, to get started, we click into here and we type in the first few letters of background. And the option you want to go for is Zoom background. Even if you're using this for Microsoft Teams, these templates will still work for you. So let me click on this. You've got a blank option here if you want to start with a blank canvas. So maybe you've got your own design in mind. But uh, let's have a look at the designs that are available. So I'm going to zoom out just so we can see more on the page. So lots of different designs there. These ones here are videos. Video backgrounds are not available in Microsoft Teams. So all of these templates are fully customizable. So you can change the text, the images, the colors. And let me show you. So I quite like this one here. So let's go to this one. So I can just click on it and it will open in that template. Now on the left hand side you've got a menu where you can add additional stuff and I will come back to that one. But first let's just amend what we've got. So my name's not Rachel so let's just double click into here to amend and I can just delete that off. Type in my name. I'm not a sales manager so I'm going to double click into this one. I'm just going to put in IT trainer. Now if I want to change the color of this shape I can. I just click it once and up here I can change the color. So you've got lots of different colors to choose from. So document colors are the colors taken from this template. These are colors that I've used before. So you've got these default colors. Now if the color you're after is not one of those, you can go to new color and then just choose it from the palette. So I quite like that one. And it's now available as a document color. Over here we've got the logo, so that's not my logo, so I'm going to get rid of that one. So to add my own logo, I just go to Uploads. Now I've used my logo recently, so that's why it's appearing on this list. But if it wasn't there, I could just go to Upload an Image or Video and then pick it from one of these areas. So device is your laptop or computer or mobile device. I'm going to go back and pick out my logo. And then I can resize this by going to these handles, just dragging it in. I can also crop it by going for these handles. And then position it where I want to put it. All looking good so far. It's all starting to take shape. Now I'm going to change this background image. I don't want that one. So I can click it, press delete, and that goes. And to replace it, I've got an image in mind, so maybe I've got an image of my office saved somewhere. Uh, I could go here to and upload an image from there. But uh, I'm going to go to Photos. I'm going to see what Canva's offering. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to type in London. And it brings up all the images of London. And if I hover my mouse over these images, it will tell me which ones are free and which ones are only available on the Pro version. In the description of this video, there's a link to a 30-day free trial of the Pro version if you want to go and check it out. But there are still loads of images available in the free version if you rather stick with the free version. So for this example, I'm going to pick out an image for Tower Bridge. It's one of my favourite bridges in London. So let's click on this one. So there it is there. It hasn't fit the full size of my background, but I can just resize it by clicking here and just dragging the handles. If I click away, it pops it into the background. So on the left hand side, there's other stuff that you can add. So if you go to elements, 
There's like different shapes and frames that you can add. You've got different text formats. So if you want to add more text, you can. You've got styles. So this is for the coloring and the fonts. You can add videos. You've got like backgrounds as well. But I'm happy with my background as it is. So to save it, uh, first I'm gonna give it a save name. So by default, it picks up the name of the template, but if I click into there, I can just delete this off. Call it my background. Just press enter, so that's the name of it. And then when it comes to downloading it, I just go to download. And I can click download here, and this will save it into my downloads folder. So if you ever want to make changes to this background, let me show you where it saves to in Canva. So I'm going to go back to home and over here on the left, you've got all your designs. So at the moment it's showing the original version, but if I refresh, it should show the updated version. So if I click on there, it will take me back into it. But what I do a lot of the time, especially with my thumbnails, rather than recreating it from scratch, uh, if I'm just going to change a small part of it, I click here, I do make a copy and that creates a copy. And if I click into it now, so maybe I want to have a different picture of London, so I can delete that off and I can pop in a different image. To learn how to add your own background image to Microsoft Teams, then watch this video here or watch the video that YouTube is suggesting. And I will see you in the next video.